Hey everybody, it's JC Poo. Today, oh, today's exciting day. It's June. It's June and that can only mean two things. It's the summer and it's pride, which means all of us on YouTube will be celebrated, will be talked about. YouTube will really bring out and amplify their LGBT creators and we're all gonna live this happy family together. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. And now I'm gonna talk to you about some stuff. I'm a little bit mad. Quickly before getting in this video, everyone say hi to Beauty. She's right there, she's taking a little nap. All right, so. Previously, I made a video talking about how my channel is at risk of being deleted because I got a strike on a video that should have never gotten a strike on. My videos are being age restricted, they're being demonetized, they're being not advertiser friendly, and I'm getting a strike because my content is LGBT related, especially trans related. Now there are a lot of people who are like, that's not true, that's a myth, blah blah, that's not true. Listen. The video I just posted a couple of days ago talking about five years post-op about how amazing this experience has been for me was demonetized the second I put the word transgender in. I know some people won't believe me, so I did a little test. So I uploaded the video and at every step of the way I saved it and took a screenshot. So first I uploaded it, took a screenshot. Then I added the thumbnail, took a screenshot. Then I added the title and then I added the word transgender in the title. The second I added the word transgender, it was automatically demonetized. This is not the first time this has happened to me. This has happened to me in the past. Also, when I did a video about how I knew I was trans, I took a screenshot and that went all over Twitter again. So I've done multiple tests in proving that the word transgender on my channel has demonetized my videos, that it's a trigger word. It triggers the algorithm being like, no, this needs to be demonetized. And people are like, yeah, it's because YouTube and Google, they don't like talking about sexuality. It's a conflicting topic. Trans is not a sexuality. Anyways, moving on. So I've been having a lot of issues about that, but I've gotten amazing, amazing messages and amazing comments from all of you and someone brought something to my attention. So when I watch my own videos, I don't really get ads on them because I watch my, like if I look at my own videos, I don't think I'm allowed to even get ads and press on them because I don't think that's legal because then I'm like giving myself ad revenue, whatever. So somebody was like, hey, Chase, did you know that this video ad plays before your video? And I was like, wait, what is this? And the company was called the Alliance Defending Freedom. Now. I, I'm not in the United States. I go to the United States a lot. I have a lot of friends in the United States. I know a lot about United States culture and politics. So anything to me that defends freedom, I associate with the right. I associate with like, don't take our guns away, freedom of speech and all of like abortion is wrong and all of that stuff. So I don't have a very good association. So I was like, okay, let me watch the video. What is this? Could you believe that YouTube literally has added, and I know it's not YouTube, like one person that's like, yes, demonetize, yes, put transphobic video ads on some videos. I know that, and I know that it's the algorithm and it's the bots and it's like the way that everything is coded, but you are allowing an anti-LGBT ad, a very homophobic and transphobic company advertise their message, their conversion therapy, their horrible, like, mean messages on my LGBT videos. So a lot of my videos are already demonetized. And if they're not completely demonetized and age restricted, they're all limited to no ads, which means they're not advertiser friendly. But when that happens, you sometimes get ads. It's like here and there, not always, like there's barely any ad revenue that happens from there, like a dollar a month, but um, there's some ads that still show up. Why is it that the only ads that are showing up on my videos from all the screenshots that people have shown me, people have sent me screen recordings, people have shown me the entire video are homophobic and transphobic. So I think it's a little rude and hypocritical and like ironic a little bit that it's like YouTube is out here like, oh my God, it's pride, rainbow flag on the play button. Yay, let's have fun, let's have fun. We love our gay creators, our LGBT, look at us, amplify the voices. And yet on the other side, you're advertising homophobic stuff on our videos that are already like limited in ad anyways. Which by the way means that people who are watching the video won't actually click on the ad, which I think brings in a little bit more ad revenue. So it's like you're, I, I don't like this. I get it, YouTube is a corporation. We need to understand capitalist society that we live in, they want to make money but to the point where they're like spitting on their trans creators. So I'm not the only YouTuber talking about this. I'm not like, oh look, my videos are being demonetized. Pay attention to me. No, other people have talked about this. I'll give you one example here, Gabby. Okay, they say, have you been seeing anti-gay ads before our videos? Some viewers just alerted me to this and other YouTubers are having this problem too. All right, other people have talked about this like Rowan Ellis and CV and a whole bunch of other people have been talking about this, okay? If you go on Twitter, you'll see it's everywhere. People are taking screenshots, screen recordings, screen caps, 
sending the actual video. So what I did is I asked somebody, can you send me the video of the ad? Like, cause the, it's, it's like a YouTube channel. You can like look at their videos. I watched the video that plays before my video and I, I am appalled that YouTube would even say, yes, we'll take your money if you advertise. Yes, do that. And I get it, like it's money, but YouTube, really? You're priding yourself on being diverse, what, once a month? Are you kidding me? And at this point, like I swear to God, it is now June and you're still gonna play those ads before my videos and before other LGBT creators. In short, the video basically talks about how the Bible doesn't talk about homosexuality because it only talks about heterosexuality, which by default means that homosexuality is wrong and heterosexuality is right because that's only talked about. Really? Really? And how a marriage is between a man and a woman, like we're, we're still here? Like literally, what year are we in? Like 1810? 1940? What? Where are we? How are we 2018? And I get it, freedom of speech. People are allowed to have their opinions. People are allowed to have these videos. Play them on people's videos who are have similar things. Play it on people who are anti-gay, anti-LGBT, who are super homophobic and transphobic. Why are you catering those ads to my viewers? And ads are supposed to go with like, it, they look at your browser history and then they like, look at what you like and it shows you ads catering to what you like and instagram does a great job at that yo they send me ads for stuff i'm like oh my god how do they know i want to buy this and i end up buying hundreds of dollars of things that i don't really need but i want but instagram they know okay it learns it knows youtube all right has been playing ads of lgbt stuff on people's videos it has been playing i've seen anti-abortion ads on my videos like in canada i've seen horrible horrible videos and instead of showing videos that could actually be meaningful for the community like i've seen ads for like prep and hiv prevention and i've seen like um making marriage equality real in the united states like even though i'm in canada i still get ads for the united states um so it's 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 there their ads are there it's not like you're like mm, only homophobic people aren't giving us money so we're only going to show these ads no there are so many other ones like show me coca-cola i don't care you know anything but anyways i'm done i can't i can't go through this again I'm so scared that my channel is going to get deleted because I am trans. This has happened to other trans creators just because they are trans and their topic were trans related. Their videos were completely deleted and their whole channel was deleted and my channel is my life. I just think that it's a little bit of BS that YouTube says that they have such an inclusive environment for all of these creators and especially in June, it's Pride Month. They put, throw rainbows at you. They spit rainbows in your face and it's so great. And I usually love this month and I feel so proud to be a YouTuber and I feel so loved. This year is different and maybe it's different for me because I'm finally seeing it, but I don't like that anti-LGBT ads are being shown on my videos and other LGBT creators and other creators who aren't even LGBT. They're maybe just more progressive and like maybe just talking about like video games and stuff. I just, I, I don't like that YouTube promotes diversity and inclusion and then accepts money from people who are directly against what they are for. I don't think that that's right. And technically these anti-LGBT organizations are literally giving LGBT people their money though. So not that I'm happy about that and I should just be happy that their ads are playing because I don't want people to see these ads on my videos, but we are literally taking money from you. So thanks for that, I guess. All right, I probably missed a couple of things in this video, but check my Twitter. I'm tweeting a lot about this and retweeting other people who have experienced this. If you have experienced this on your channel or you've seen anti-LGBT ads, please comment below. I want to make a case. I want to build a case. I want to bring this to YouTube and explain, look what this is happening. Look what it's doing to people. Please fix this. Please fix your ad algorithm, please. So please let me know in the comments below. Let me know on Twitter, tweet me, Instagram, anything. Let's talk about this because I'm done not talking about this and being in the shadow. Let's discuss. Let's open up the conversation and change stuff on YouTube and actually be proud to be YouTubers who are LGBT plus education channels and LGBT plus people on YouTube in June. Let's do, let, let's be proud and not be like resentful and like, mm, you know? All right. Let me know what you think. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye. Also, happy pride. I appreciate you and I love you. And I think that all of the work that you do is great. Even if you don't make videos and you just watch videos and you just sit at home, whatever you do today, you're great and you deserve the world. I love you. Have a great day.